Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melita and today we're going to be doing something really cool. We're going to try and turn an old bed frame or headboard into a bench. So let's see if we can do it. I have this sitting area here, seedlings, my chickens, which I plan to move somewhere else. I was cleaning back here and I see a lot of bed parts and I found this bed frame here. So I plan to sand it, prime it, paint it, and then I'm going to try and make this into a bench for my garden. I went to my local lumber yard and I got two two by fours, eight feet, and I got two one by fours, eight feet. So I think th I, that's going to be enough for my bench. For my bench seat, I'm just going to make a box with supports in between. And the length of this is 42 inches. And then I'm gonna bring it out 20 inches for the seat part. So I'm gonna need two 42 inch boards, two by fours, and then three 17 inch that are gonna go in between for support. My dad was kind enough to cut these for me. So these are the 42 inch, 42, these are 17, these. And that's gonna be my bench seat. Then I'm gonna drill holes in the back and attach it to the bed frame. And the one by fours, I'm gonna put slats across as the seat. I use this little bit to do a pilot hole and then I'm using two and a half inch screws they're not centered, but you know, they did the job. So now I'm gonna go, go around and, and do them all. I finished my frame, it didn't take too long. And now I'm gonna prime it and paint it. And then, then I'm gonna add the slats on top. Real quick guys, I wanted to show you the ivy that I had planted, that sweet potato I got from the front yard. I planted it here to save money because I didn't want to go and buy more plants. Because I think the plants that I had here, there were mandevillas and they were $22.98 and they all died. So I'm not going to spend any money on that. That's why I made that video on how to get free plants and all of these were in the front yard. And I just took a little piece of it and put it here and they're doing great. Okay guys, so I finished cutting all the boards and oh, the sun came out, <laughs> thank goodness. Okay, so I was gonna paint them white, but I really like the way that they look like this. So I'm just gonna stain them with this Min Wax wood finish uh, and it's number 221 semi-transparent that I already had. I found it in the cabinet. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna brush it on and then I'm gonna wipe it off with the rag. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm holding my microphone because it doesn't reach all the way over here. <laughs> one 
side. So now I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to flip them over and stay on the other side. Here are my legs. Oops, sorry. Here are my legs. I cut them to 16 inches. I used um, some old spindles I had laying around. Then I sanded them just to rough them up because I want this to look kind of rustic, you know, homemade since it's homemade. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to go and attach these to my seat. My legs are too short, you guys. But you know, it's the first time, it's to be expected. Make mistakes and learn from them. So next time, I'm not gonna measure the legs until after I'm completely done with the seat in the back. And then I'll measure to get the correct measurements because I know where I messed up and I'll show you. Okay, you can see immediately that the legs on top are way shorter than the legs on the bottom. So I'm gonna take those legs off. I have other legs, so I'm gonna measure again and try and do um, new legs. The seat should have been right at 16 inches, not the bracket. And I and I put the bracket right at 16. That's why my legs are way too short. Live and learn. Live and learn. Whew. Okay, I touched the legs. It came out a little bit higher than I had planned, but by like two or three inches, but that's okay. It's our first time building a bench out of a bed frame. So now I know better. So now I'm gonna try and attach the boards, the seat to the box. That's what I'm doing next. Okay guys, so I finally finished the bench. It only took, I should say finally. It only took me two days. It took me the weekend, but of course, you know, then other things get in the way and I still have to, I went and got some Thompson water seal and I still have to seal it. Um, so I have to do that, but let me show you the bench. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this bench. Of course, I had a few hiccups, but we got through it and we got it done. Anyway, thanks for sticking around, you guys. Hopefully, we'll see you next week with another video. You all take care of each other. Stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And I'm going to put my Instagram down there somewhere so you can follow me on Instagram. Bye, guys.